Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from Craftably. This is actually the first time I've ever gotten a Craftably. I just saw a sale at some point and I was like, well, I like these two, so I'll go get those two and try them out. So, so yeah, one of them was on sale, but it didn't come with a tube, and then one of them was just regular price. But I got a second one, mainly because one, I kind of wanted to see what the full kit is, and two, I had to pay for shipping. So I figure if I'm gonna have to pay for shipping, I might as well get two because you save a little bit by getting more than one. I don't know, that's just my thing. So let's do the one in the tube since I figure this is most likely how you're going to get a diamond painting from Craftably. So it comes in this purple tube and then it comes with an outer plastic covering with one of these gold ties here. So. So yeah, comes with the tube, and it does also, the tube does come with a little tag of what's in here, so this is the image. It's actually a nice tag. Is this a sticker? Nope. Okay, so tube, tube. I wonder if, can you get these things for a cheaper price if you don't get the tube? Because I think you only need really one tube, and then you're good, right? Okay. So... Did I break the tube? I'm hoping this was just the plastic for that part and I didn't break the tube. Can the tube go bigger? I feel like it can become bigger, the tube. Let me... Let me loosen. See, I'm, I'm just being entertained by the tube, but like I said, I wouldn't I wonder if you could get it cheaper if you don't get the tube. The one that was on sale. Oh yeah, you can extend this. You could extend the tube. Because I plan to use this. Oh, okay, you could extend the tube pretty pretty much to maybe if I could Okay. There. You, I think that's the extent that you could extend the tube. So I could use this to to do a diamond painting that is... Okay, I could do an 80 across. So most of the time I'm not going to have something 80 across. I'll have something like 60 across. So yeah, it should fit in there. In the shorter end. Okay. That's enough with the tube. But yep. Comes with the tube here. So then the diamond painting comes in here. So I'm wondering when they buy them, they all just kind of come like this and then they put them in the tube. It's like to tube or not to tube. So this first diamond painting here. Okay, so there's a piece of tape. So now I'm pondering how to store these because most of the time my bigger canvases are just stored in the box and well I don't have a box I have a tube so yeah so this one is called Garden Pond by Holly Carr so it does seem like their canvas is this soft back canvas which I'm fine with. I don't need it, but I don't necessarily like, I'm like, they all have to be like that. Nope. As long as the canvas is clear, doesn't fray. Is this fraying? Yep, it's fine. So, so the drills come in the baggies here. Okay, so there is a special drill. There's a rhinestone. I didn't realize that. Is that a say it on the website? It says there's two AB drills. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't like it when the rhinestones are called AB, so <laughs> we will see. So, yeah, here they come in the baggies here. So, here it is. See, I'm not meant, I'm not usually doing these big, bigger diamond paintings. So, it's not even that big. It's a 50 by 50. 
it should be a 50 by 50. Or it says it's a 20 inch by 20 inch. So let's see. So yeah, it actually is a 20. It says 20 inch by 20 inch. It's actually bigger than 20 inch. So this is the first time I've gotten a diamond painting where they were like, they advertised it as actually smaller than it really is. So yeah, to see, that's where 20 inch is. This one is more or closer actually to 21 inches. So this is actually about 52 and a half by 52. So, so yeah, this one is called Garden Pond by Holly Carr. It actually does have the information here. I like that here. So it's very pretty. I like it. It has a dragonfly here, some flowers, and I don't think those are pumpkins. They kind of look like pumpkins, but they must just be the flower not opened yet. And let me move you down. So there is 56 colors here. There's a lot of colors, 56 colors. There is a mixture of symbols and letters. And okay, so the website does say that there's 56 colors and there's two ABs. Oh, and it does say one rhinestone. So okay, Man, I just needed to scroll down. <laughs> so, so yeah, two ABs and one rhinestone. I like that. I like when there is a mixture of ABs and rhinestones because I, I don't know. I kind of feel like it. It's like what I would do on my own, blinging up. So, symbol clarity. Looks nice. Mm-hmm, yeah. I don't... see anything that will make me go crazy other than the a large amount of symbols. So I'm not a big fan of a large amount of symbols, but because my brain likes to have the letters, but I guess that's what happens when you have 56 colors. You can only, there's only, there's only so many letters, right? And numbers. So it comes with instructions to how to diamond paint. Here. And am I missing the toolkit? Am I crazy? Did I did I sign up for a don't give me a toolkit? I don't think so. I was like, give me everything. <laughs> Am I missing it? I don't even know. Is this one of those places that you can sign up to have no toolkit? But I'm pretty sure since it's the first time I've gotten from Craftably, I wouldn't have signed up for that. Okay, so I don't have a toolkit, I think. Oh, wait! I lied. It was in the box. That came in it. It does come with a toolkit. I was like, wait. It's because, you know, I, 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 yeah. I tried, I, I forgot to take it out and bring it with me. So it does come with a toolkit. So, so, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Because I was like, wait, I don't have all this awesomeness or something. <laughs> So, toolkit comes in this really nice bag. I like it. Um, so, it comes with some washi tape. I got some with reindeer here. Oh, I got two washi tape. Reindeer and some black lines here. And there is a plate of wax that says craftably. There, I'm guessing this is the cover minder. It's taped. It looks like a cute little like Hershey's Kiss like thing. Cover minder. I don't really use cover minders because I don't know. I just put my storage on top of it or I cut off the plastic. And here is their toolkit here. Okay. <laughs> it's like it doesn't want me to open it. So it comes with the Mosfa tray, pink wax, 
the skinny placers, so the seven placer and the four placer, and then another pen with a four placer, a purple squishy, and then some nice black tweezers here. So, but yeah, first time I've got a craftable, I forgot that the 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 kit comes separately. And just because I have two of them, let's see if the other one looks too different. It's probably the only thing different is going to be the, the, oh yeah, so here must be what they were going to put on. So yeah, I think that's the same, but now I have, oh, they, they gave me two cover minders. I don't know if that's a mistake. So there's, ooh, I like these ones. Look at this washi tape here. And... I, th these are more my colors and same wax and they gave me two cover minders which I don't know if, like I said I don't know if that's a mistake <laughs> so if someone's kit was missing a cover minder it's because it went into mine instead why can't I open it okay so the seashell cover minder is broken a little bit. I'm going to have to, if I'm going to use it, I'm going to have to re-stick the magnet onto it. So it's a seashell here. And then this one is like the Hershey's Kiss looking thing, except it's a more maroon color. I think these are the containers that you have, like, that you could get to put um, earplugs in. So, yeah, it's this Hershey's Kiss looking one. Are, are those drills? Ah, oh, that's, that's awesome. They made use of the drills. So those are, like, a use of, like, leftover drills. there so yep and then I'm guessing the toolkit is exactly the same and this must be where they put so that's my other one <laughs> spoilers okay so now we have looked at that so so they do come with some stickers so there is a thing for the logbook Huh, did I print out these pictures for my logbook? I might have. And then it comes with some labels. The labels are ginormous. Will they fit on my storage? For funsies, I just took out the first storage that I found. It's these cube storage here. So, yeah, it's a little bit big. It... It, I don't even think it'll fit if I put the storage this way, but hey, I'm okay with that. I could just cut it off the extra. Okay, and then there's like extra labels down here too, so I could keep them. So, and then comes with some stickers here. So I sweat glitter. Logbook sticker, okay. I love DP and then a bunch of little... Just cuz stickers. So, yeah. There's this one. And drills. Are they in order? If they're in order, I'll be very reluctant to move them. But I do like that there's this on the drills. It'll make it easier if I, you know, separate the drills from the canvas. They do look like they're in order. So let's just look at the ABs for fun. So it looks like there's a or special. So there's a red rhinestone, a green AB here, and a yellow AB. Everything else is nicely in order, and I don't want to move it. Because when the baggies come in order, that is the best. Because lots of times they, be, they kind of become just like a, where is my gun? Where's my drill? So these are rounds. So it looks like I have a lot of green here blues, oranges, and browns. So, all right, so next one. Let's move this aside. I'm still pondering how to, so at the time of me buying this, this was 
$24.99. Um, I don't, I'm looking at the website right now and it's still $24.99. <laughs> so yeah. And it's June 20, 2022, because you won't see this until I finish one of these diamond paintings. So who knows if this will be available at the time of me showing this video. All right. So next diamond painting here. This one is called Seasons Greetings by Daniel Rogers. It's a big, it's a bigger one. I don't tend to do these big ones. So, so I'm like, what am I going to do with it? It's big. Okay. So it's taped. Okay. So I, when I got this, it, it was one of those sales where they didn't give you the tube. So at the time I got this, it was $29.99. So, and this is pretty much what prompted me to get this, was this diamond painting. The other one was just an add-on to, to, you know, make up for the shipping. Because I did use a 20% off coupon, but... I had so I got ten ninety nine off, but then I had to pay nine ninety nine for shipping, so I only really got one dollar off. So, so this one, it's a big one. I'm not going to be able to show. I think the whole thing on camera, am I? So, it's this here. Let's. So. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to show the whole thing on camera. It's this Christmas diamond painting. I should be able to show it if I do it this way. So, so yeah, it's this Christmas diamond painting. It's called Seasons Greetings by Daniel Rogers. And this should be a square. Let me move you down. So, yeah. There is 60 colors in this thing. It looks like there's two ABs and it's um, symbols are a mixture of symbols and letters and numbers. So let's look at the drill field here. Don't see anything. I actually think this looks clearer than the round, round diamond painting. Yeah, I think the round was not as clear as this, so I'm happy with that, since squares are smaller than round drills. And I do like that they don't have that ugly black grid line that I see sometimes on square diamond paintings here. So yeah, here it is Seasons Greetings by Daniel Rogers. And... Yeah, I think, I think this one will turn out nice. This was the main reason I got one. I do like my Christmas diamond paintings too. So it comes with the same instructions. And he, I, yeah, it comes with a sticker. Same, looks like same stickers here. And the same kind of labels. They are big, but I don't mind that. I'll probably just have to cut off the one, two, three, four, five, six kind of thing just because... It's too big. I don't know how removable these are, so let's hope they're removable because I'm gonna use them like real labels. So, the drills, <laughs> this is heavy. I don't tend to do, oh yeah, I forgot to measure this. This says it's supposed to be a 20 by 28. So, let's, let's see. slightly bigger than 28 which makes it I'm like is it if would it fit a 20 by 28 frame it might I might have to cut up a couple rows which I don't want to do I don't like doing that so so yeah it's 20 and 1 fourth by 28 and 1 fourth so yeah, you wouldn't probably need to buy a... S See, this is the first time I've gotten diamond paintings that were actually larger than they advertised, which is strange, but... 
So yeah, and it's a uh, looks like seventy one and a half by fifty two. So yeah, slightly, slightly bigger than 20 by 28, which means I have to go slightly bigger on the frame. So yeah, I think that that's going to look nice, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm not used to doing diamond paintings this big, so this is like heavy. So it does look like the drills are in order, so I'm not going to take them out. So let's look at the two ABs. It looks like the only ABs is this yellow AB here and this white one. So so yeah, I'll probably add in some red ABs in there and maybe some green and some yellow. I don't know. Put some, yeah, we will see. I have a lot of ABs so I do like to add my own. But yeah, no, I was like, this is heavy. <laughs> All right, so that is all in this unboxing. I will finish one of them, so you might not see this video until months after I recorded this, which I recorded this back in, in June. Just FYI, <laughs> June 2022. So in case it comes into next year. Or I might post this if, if the video gets too old. I will post it earlier. So yeah, here are the two diamond paintings I got from Craftably. So yeah. That is all I have for right now, so I will see you later. So I'm back, and I actually did finish the diamond painting. Woot, 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 woot for me. Okay, enough tooting my own horn. So this is, so I, I was writing that it was a 51 by 71, but when I was measuring it, I, I measured it more like a 52 by 71. So this is, did I say how much I bought this for? It was $29.49. I think I added, this number includes shipping. So I think I, sh I divided the shipping price into two and that's what, and then I added it to both of the price of the diamond paintings. So this is a full drill with poured glue with 60 colors. These are squares with two ABs. There were DMC codes. I kitted this up in June, 2022. Oh, I didn't write anything. The rendering. Where is a pen? Ah, uh, rendering. I think it's okay. The symbols, I thought the symbols were good. The stick was good. The canvas was good. The drills, actually, I thought were great. And there is some gapping. And it's actually relatively noticeable, I think. So I did use rhinestones for the lights and I used some ABs for the scarf and I did note down that there's a lot of trash but I think that's pretty much what happens with with resin drills. There tends to be just a little bit more trash. And this took me 11 days to complete. I was doing this for Christmas in July. I, I admit I cheated. I started on June 30 but I think it was just like I finished something and I was like, I was going to start this for July and I only worked for like an hour and nine, 19 minutes in June. But yeah, it took me 40 hours and 36 minutes and over 11 days. So there were some, some long days. Like I apparently, I think I must have just been really into it on this day because I, I drilled for a long time there. So... I'm gonna move you up, but there's no way you're gonna see the whole thing. It's just too long, up and down. So I'm gonna move you sideways, but yeah, it's just too long up and down, but there it is in this orientation. As much of it as you can see here, and there's the dog. So let me move it this way so you can see the whole picture as much. Come on, there. As much of the whole picture as you can see. There. So, sorry that you're going to have to turn your head to see it. So, I did. So, I thought that their use of ABs were actually really well placed. Like, the white ABs were well placed 
and the snow farts. And did they have another AB? There was two ABs. What was the other AB? Two ABs. What was, it was one of the yellows. It was the yellow. I don't know where it is. So I ended up adding my own stuff in here. I added, I put used green ABs for the scarf here. I was trying to find more places to do ABs and I used red ABs for the color of the the dog, but I thought they placed the ABs relatively well that I didn't end up adding any more. But I did use rhinestones for the lights here and then rhinestones for the lights in the house and rhinestones in the lights on the trees in here. I was actually kind of used rhinestones for the lights on this house here, but it's not that well defined and I just couldn't find where to put the the the, the drills in there so I just kind of left this this house over here as is so I think rendering wise that's why I only put okay I thought that it's a little bit more pixelated than I like and I mean it was just like this this house here you could barely you can't you can't really see that there's a house there but this this truck turned out really well. I thought the dog and the back of the people turned out really well. <laughs> this person turned like I don't know if you can see it. Like I almost feel like they shouldn't have bothered. <laughs> Do you see the eyes and the nose of the or mouth of this person? It's actually kind of hilarious. It's kind of scary. I kind of think that it would have been better if they just gave them no no face and just be like, oops. But I think I'm wondering if it just needed to be bigger and but I mean even even with all of that I think it still looks really nice the trees turned out oh I apparently should move you this way so there's more space and you don't see my the drills there but I think overall, I still think it did turn out nice. I'm actually going to frame this at the end of this video, so this might be a longer video than, than just my normal unboxing. But I thought, yeah, I thought it turned out well. It's my first craftably. I thought the drills were great. There is gapping, unfortunately, which I feel like I'm just have, gonna have to resign myself to it. Um, I'm not sure how well it'll turn, show. It's so big, I can't even move my like you could see the white under the drills. You could even see the symbols on some of them. But I think that's just gonna be one of those things. I'm just gonna have to accept that that the companies are very afraid of popping, that the gapping, gapping is gonna be a thing. Let me tell you, a large amount of the AliExpress diamond painting companies tend to not care about popping so much, so I actually have the least amount of gapping from some from AliExpress diamond paintings than I do in any of these ones. But like I said, it's like a do you want gapping or do you want popping drills? And there's just a fine line where you could get where you can they can meet without causing one or the other. So But it's not too horrible. I've had worse. I've had worse gapping. <laughs> but I think, yeah, I think overall, I think it turned out really nice. You could see the leaves, the leaves, the tree branches. I'm like, there's no leaves. What am I talking about? And I, like I said, I thought that there, if, if I didn't do anything, I thought the placement of where they put their ABs was spot on. Like I, like I would have replaced the white with a, white ABs, and, but they had already done it. So I didn't have to do it like these. That's where exactly where I would have put my white ABs were in these little like snow flakes, I guess. But of course I had to put my own thing. I'm not sure. I might have put a little too much rhinestones, but I was trying to trying to just put the rhinestones in the lights. And that was my main thing. But I think overall, this has been hanging up. So I did this for Christmas in July. I actually finished it like really relatively early in July, like the first two weeks in July. And this has been hanging out for about like three weeks on my door 
or two or three weeks on my door so I've been looking at it and the more I look at it I'm like you know it looks actually really really nice so like I said I'm gonna frame this frame this thing so I have my rotary cutter mat here it's gonna be too long for my my mat but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try oh yeah let me move the drills to the other side oh and I had plenty of drills left over there's plenty of drills left over so I was never never thinking I was gonna run out I'm just hoping it fits in the frame because it it's even a little bit bigger than the 50 by 70 but I do know the American frames that the closest to 50 by 70 is uh, 20 by 28 so I'm hoping this will fit the 20 by 28 let me see let me look at it in 20 because usually what ends up happening is the diamond painting is just a tiny bit short it looks a little bit bigger than 28 <laughs> it might not fit the frame that I have it's just a tiny bit just a tiny bit I'm gonna just cut this out and hope for the best if not I'm just gonna put in my portfolio book I don't have I don't I don't have a I don't have a frame for it. I have a 20 by 28 inch frame. So this is like the first time that my diamond painting has been bigger than advertised <laughs> instead of smaller, which I guess in the whole scope of things is a good thing. So let me I'm gonna have to do part of it first and then move my ruler. So I might not put paper under this because I don't have, because I think it might just be just the right size for the frame. Let's, let's hope. Let's, let's hope it fits my frame because now that I'm measuring it I'm like I don't know it might be too big because I have my 20 by 28 this should have been a 20 20 by 28 my legend that I keep in my journal I apparently cannot talk and cut with scissors at the same time maybe that's why I still have all my fingers it'll be too much for that so there's 60 colors so I'll have to do it in 20 increments of 20 so 20 is that H 20 is age. I, I just looked at the other legend that still had the numbers and then these I could just split in half to figure out where the halfway point is. 
this actually had a lot of DMCs that are in the 3000, like this whole last 22 are all 3000. No, 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 20, but then the last two are AB. So 20 were in the 3000s. 20 colors. So this is in here in case I ever look back at this and I'm like, oh no, I lost the color. And while I could just kind of go to my stash and just find a good enough color, why have to make that effort when you can just look through this? All right, so my journal and I'm gonna use this frame here. I actually, so this picture here is actually my first, what I consider my first big diamond painting. Before this picture, I only did 40 by 50, so that was my biggest one, and this one is a 50 by 70 here. So, and I did this back in 2020. This actually has been framed for over a year, which is actually a long time for for me. Because I have a tendency to replace what's in my frames, but it's probably been in here a long time because I don't do 50 by 70s that often. So what was going to replace it? Nothing. I actually think 50 by 70s is a nice doable size. I feel like diamond paintings are getting bigger. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I'm like, man, are diamond paintings getting bigger? Okay, so I think I, I had used the piece of paper that came with this. Oh, is it stuck? It's been in here too long, it doesn't want to leave. There. Please fit, please fit, please fit. I don't want to cut it. I refuse. I refuse to cut my diamond fittings. Okay, so it's not going to fit. So unfortunately, this is not going to be a framing video. This is going to be a botched framing video because I don't have a frame. I don't have a frame. I have a 24 by 36 inch frame, but that seems really, really big. Oh, wait, I might have a frame. Alright, so I actually remembered that I have this frame here. It's a 22 by 34 inch frame, so it is bigger. My sister actually got this for, got this for free. Someone was giving it away in one of those buy nothing groups and then she asked if I wanted it. It's one of those ones that just kind of has these four things on the sides. And it's usually an inexpensive way to frame a diamond painting. So it does look like there's a plastic over the glass. I'll take it out off after. So let's hope the back of this looks nice enough because I don't have a piece of paper this big. So. So unfortunately, because it's a white background, the black doesn't do as well. Let's 
some of the black border. It doesn't look too bad though. move you higher there you can kind of see the whole thing now I'm like trying to get you to see the whole thing so it let me put some tape on the back here Fluff here. Okay, so the top needs to be on this side. So I'm just, I, I'm happy I remembered I had this. I'm just kind of worried it might be kind of too big for it, but it kind of almost looks like when you put a 40 by 50 in a 18 by 24 inch frame, it does have the, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not equally framed around. I don't know if that makes sense. Like there's more more on the two so on the top or bottom or on one s on two sides and then there's not as much oh. and there's not as much of a border on the other side so That's where the top is supposed to be. Let's see, left and right. Nah. Oh, I could move you this way. Left and right. I think it looks then up and down. I think it looks centered. All right. Either way, if it if I can't tell, then it's okay, right? And the thing is, if you're going to use one of these frames with the four edges that you kind of put around it, like with these things, you have to, your diamond painting has to be smaller. It's this thing is not going to go over your diamond painting. It's too, the diamond paintings are too tall, too tall, too thick. I'm going to pause a little bit. Okay, I didn't have to pause actually because I thought the glass was dirty, but it's just the, the outside plastic is dirty. So once I take it off, it looks okay. I 
Except, you know, hair, because I just shed. Shed. Like crazy. So let's see if I... Oops. See, diamond paintings are heavy. That just... on. They're actually pretty difficult sometimes to put these on. But it does help that the diamond painting does not go all the way to the ends. Some folks would actually cut the diamond painting so that would fit. I can't do it. Like you spend hours diamond painting it and you're just gonna cut it all. <laughs> cut cut off a piece. Every time I hear someone say that, I'm like, no. Okay, let me try this side. Drop my scissors if you're wondering. Is this one of those ones that would be easier just to slide it in? No, it doesn't slide that well. So this is gonna be a long enough video, I'm gonna pause. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it and then put the things on and then I'll be back. Okay, so after that struggle <laughs> that was framing this, here it is framed. Let me move you up here. So you could mostly see it. Move you more up. Mostly see it here framed. There you go. So there is this finish framed. I'm going to put it up. I was like, no, did I put it in the right direction? I'm going to put it up somewhere in my house. I don't know where. But that's, that's all I have for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.